Well, let's go say good morning to my chickens. They can hear me. <laughs> yeah. It's like pure ice out here. Morning, girls. I brought them some cucumber. They love cucumber. some cucumber. Hmm? No egg in there. Hmm. Thought that for sure there would be. No eggs yet this morning. Oh, there it is, hiding under ya. See you later, girls. See you in a bit. We come back and give you more water in a bit. I need my coffee. Now that they're taken care of, it's coffee time for me. So today I'm gonna steal Jeremy's joke telling and I got a joke for you. Last night I dreamt I was forced to eat a giant marshmallow. When I woke up, my pillow was gone. You're welcome. Okay, moving on. We got something in the mail here. This is from, from Daryl. And as you know, we've been making maple syrup lately, right? And I've been just kind of guessing on the finish of it. Well, Daryl sent us a food thermometer, waterproof food thermometer. Put the little rigging on it so you can stick that in the water. Throw the syrup, sap until it gets to the temperature. It goes up to well over 500 Fahrenheit. So we want around 219. So that's going to be perfect. It's a digital thermometer is pretty cool. Has a little light on it because I might be out there late at night too. So that's pretty sweet. Pretty happy about that. So thanks, Daryl. Much appreciated and it'll get good use because not only for the syrup there's many times it comes up when we're cooking a turkey or something that we want to check the internal temperature of a turkey and we don't have anything and well now we do so thanks okay now i'm going to show you what we're going to get up to today it's pretty cool got some boards here so you see what we got going on here we got one by eight they're called barn barnwood pine boards and what they are to like the ship lap right so that overlaps this on, the, on each board and they're one by eight and they're nice looking pine, right? It's gonna look cool. So where these are going, we're gonna put them on the cathedral now. So we almost went with some other options. Then we're like, man, this is our forever home. So we wanna put what we want on it, right? We want it to have definitely the look we have. We don't wanna go and put something on there and then a couple years down the road regret that we didn't put what we wanted on there, right? So we're gonna throw those up. And another thing we got which we're probably not going to put up today, but I'm going to show you anyway, because now we have it, is this here light. So that there is going to be the light in the kitchen. You know how I, we did the kitchen boards not long ago? Well, this here light's going to hang from the kitchen. And this is the DC light with the two wires that I already have in there to hook up to that. And we're going to hook that up. I'll hook up a switch to it out near the front door so we can flick it there. And I'll run a fuse right before the battery to put that on there. And that's a 12 volt DC light, so that's going to be awesome. Can't wait to put that up and see what it looks like. Probably tomorrow maybe we'll put that up because I gotta go to town and I'll probably pick up some wire and stuff that I need before I can hook it up. And we actually ordered this light off of Amazon. And another thing about Amazon, we just recently set up Amazon. So we got a couple of links down below. There's one for USA and there's one for Canada. So if you shop on Amazon and you just shop on Amazon, if you take those links that we have below and shop through those links, It'll kick back us a commission and support the channel with no extra cost. It doesn't, it won't add money to your item or anything. It'll just give us a commission for sending you to Amazon to buy your stuff there. So you can support Mapleberry Farm 
by just buying what you would buy anyway. So the links are below and then you can, if you want to do that, you can just save those links and shop for whatever you want through those links anytime you're on there. So save it to your favorites or something and super easy. That way you could support us and get what you're buying anyway. So thanks in advance and well, I'm gonna put this light away for now. All right, so these are eight foot exactly to here, right? But to go this other side over here is a little bit shorter. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna bring the eight footers to here and go right up just eight feet right on this line. And then we're gonna cut the other ones just a little bit so we match here and we'll have hardly no waste at all. You're gonna think it's gonna look weird with a seam right up here. And it would if we didn't do what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something. So we're gonna put like a false beam right up that seam. So when we're finished, you won't see a seam going up here. We're actually gonna put a false beam here and a false beam at like the two foot mark over here and over here. So it'll like even at like every, or four feet. So it'll go like four feet, false beam, four feet beam, four feet beam, right? So you'll see this line, but keep in mind that line won't always be there. I do. I myself alone for each day. Yes, I'll admit that I am a poor blind. As sure as night is dark and day is black, here we all find my own thing. So we're just going to throw screws right on the end here and then on the opposite end that goes up the middle and this side here will be hidden with trim and that side will be hidden with the false beam so you won't see the screws so again just screws on the ends of each board because they're a little bit heavier and then in the, the rest of the way will be the brad nails so you don't really see them either. Yeah. <laughs> you may also be wondering why the screws are so long that we're using in the ends to hold it there. The only reason is that is just because that just happens to be a, the screws we have a whole pile of. So we're just using what we have, right? And send me back home. That one's fine.
Yeah. Okay. Check the thunder. All right, you can see here what I'm going on. See this here? Maybe we'll do something like that in the meantime until we get to those beams. Put this, or maybe a little wider piece of pine, we'll pick it up next time we're in town. And that'll hide all where we're meeting the seam I was talking about, that line. Even a piece of this would look all right up there for now. And then maybe down the road, we'll build those beams and talk about. And we'll just do it on the seam maybe for now and not put it in the other spots and we'll do the beams later on in the whole spots later on. Later, later, later on. So this here, like, not necessarily sure if we're going to be using this here as a trim, but either way, once that goes up there, it'll look nice, hey, it'll all cover that. We may end up using this kind of stuff and just kind of box it in as trim. I like the look of it anyway. It's like a rustic cabiny look, right? And then these here, if you didn't know, this is just strapping. It's actually pine flooring, tongue and groove flooring that we just threw up as strapping just for the meantime, just to make sure if any wind came through, we didn't end up blowing our insulation down. I stapled this right to death anyway, but just in case, like we put the, but just in case uh, I put these on anyway. Yeah, should look good. All right, so we got this started at least today. That's good. Yeah, really, really awesome. It's gonna look so good. Yeah, and uh, well, thanks again to Daryl. We got we get some warmer weather coming by the end of the week. We actually have a snowstorm coming. I think actually, tomorrow. Next week, too. I think tonight. Tomorrow night. Maybe for like two days. Yeah. But we'll see, right? But at least the weather will be warmer. But the, after the storm, yeah. when we're, we should be getting the nicer mm -hmm. weather, right? I think so. I think the storm's Tuesday, Wednesday, and then warm weather like Thursday, Friday. Yeah, and then by Friday, I think we'll be able to check our sap buckets and maybe get some maple syrup on the go for real. We actually have been still bringing a little bit in. We've probably made like four or five pints by now, maybe. maybe. I don't know, something like that. Three. Maybe three, yeah, like three or four. One of them was really sick. The last one we pulled it down even farther yeah. just to see. It's pretty much candy and I enjoy it greatly. We actually are gonna try candy because we got some sheets that came with the evaporator we bought. We got all those buckets. We also got some sheets to try to make some candy. So yeah. we're probably gonna try to make that too. <laughs> come on, come on up. Lift your head up. Peek. Hey, <laughs> Ew. Ew. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. See ya.